So there's two things that we've talked about as far as our angles. If we wanted to find the sum of the interior angles of a polygon, we just take n minus 2 times 180 degrees, right? Where n equals the number of sides, and the sum, or s, represents the sum of all the interior angles. However, let's say we want to find one individual angle. Well, what we do is we take, if I just want to find um, the sum of, or just the measure of one interior angle, this is the measure of one angle. Notice it has to be regular. Okay? We can't find the sum of one angle if we don't have a regular polygon. So it has to be regular. Right? That means all the angles have to be equal. Then what we're simply going to do is take n minus 2 times 180. And then what did we divide it by? In that last problem, those last problems, what did we divide by? But it always depends. If it's a triangle, we divided it by 3. three. If it was a quadrilateral, we divided it by 4. A pentagon, we divided it by 5. So what do we have? What letter do we represent with the number of sides? N. So if you guys do n minus 2 times 180, that's going to tell you the sum of all the angles and of a figure. But if I say, what is that measure of one angle, that's going to be n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. Okay. Now I'm going to go over this one example real quick. 